Hello everyone and welcome back to another Slap Battles video. Man, it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I hope to do some more Slap Battles content in the near future, so stay tuned. Anyways, today we're going to be covering how to make all the potions with the Alchemist Glove. So, make sure to put on your seatbelts because we're getting ready to cook. Like, we're... The first thing we're going to be cooking is this man right here. No, I'm just kidding. We actually got to go get ingredients before we can cook. So let's go gather ingredients. Welcome to the Holy Night Kitchen, where we will now cook some delicious delicacies. Okay, so first up, we're going to make ourselves the Grug Potion. To make a Grug Potion, just throw in one single mushroom and click the spoon, and you've got yourself a Grug Potion. You can throw this at people and turn them into Grug. That's so awesome. Look at that. We just made Grug. That's so awesome. Okay, next up, we're going to make our Nightmare Potion. This one makes blinds people and forces them in first person. So it's a really annoying one. What you need for this one is three dark roots. So we're just going to bang, bang, bang. Click the spoon. We got ourselves a lovely... Oh, this, he wants a handshake? Yeah, here. Handshake. Boom. This is what drinking the Nightmare Potion does. It is not, it is not lovely. It is not splendiferous, and it is honestly really annoying. Next up, you're going to need a red crystal and one glowing mushroom. I should have one somewhere. Where's the glowing mushroom? Throw it in there. Click the spoon. We have ourselves a confusion potion. No, just for the kicks. We're going to drink it. As you can see, it kind of messes up your screen and reverses your controls, so it's quite annoying. Next up, we're going to make a power potion. This one gives you double the power for eight whole seconds, which is pretty splendid. But you can't throw this one, which is a little unfortunate. So you need one dire flower. You need one red crystal. And you also need one wild vine. Click the spoon. We've got ourselves a power potion. So normally when we slap someone, they go, you know, about that far, you know. But if we drink the power potion and then slap them, look how far they go now. Significantly farther, as you can see. It's quite splendid. Next up, we're going to make the paralysis potion. This one stuns ragdolls people for 10 whole seconds. To make this one, you just need two plain flowers. So let's see. Do I have any plain flowers? Oh, I do. I have a lot of them, actually. So we're going to throw in two. Click the spoon. And we're, we're actually going to... I'm going to make a couple of these just for fun. Okay, next up, we're going to make a haste potion, which lets you infinitely click for six whole seconds. To get this one, you need one autumn sprout. And you also need one jade stone. I should have one. There it is. Now we have a haste potion. Now we're going to drink it. And now we can click infinitely for six seconds. Pretty cool, right? Next, we're going to make an invisibility potion. Now... Which makes you invisible. Who would have thought an invisibility potion makes you invisible? But it does. To make this one, you need two hazel lilies. Wait, well, let me just find a new cauldron real quick. Boom, boom. We also need one blue crystal. Bada bing, bada boom. And you actually can throw the invisibility potion. So you can use this potion to support, to support your friends or enemies or both. Or you can drink it yourself if you want. Okay, next up, we're going to make the Explosion Potion. I... Let me know what this does. I... I... I bet you'll never guess what the Explosion one does. So we need one Red Crystal and two Fire Flowers. We gotta find the Fire Flowers. Where are the Fire Flowers? There they are. Boom. Boom. Explosion Potion. I okay, we are back. Next up, we're going to make... An invincibility potion, which makes you invincible until you break your glove out. But you can still throw potions, so... If you want to be invincible for, like, three whole minutes, then that's pretty awesome. So, to do this, you just need one elder wood and two mushrooms. Boom. Okay, next up, we have the toxic potion, which gives people the infection effect. So to make this one, you're going to need two dark roots. One blood rose mm. and one red crystal. Do I have one? I do indeed. This one gives people infection. Or I could use it on myself. So like, I'm gonna throw it at him. Boom, he has the infection now. That's so big, 
Ultra Gasp. Okay, so we got ourselves the Wild Vine. We're gonna toss that in our brew. Now we got a Blue Crystal that we gotta throw in. And finally, one Glowing Mushroom that I don't have. Of course, when I need the Glowing Mushroom. Okay, there we go. We have Glowing Mushrooms now. Okay, we just gotta put one of them in there. Boom. Click it. Freeze Potion. I bet you'll never guess what this one does. It freezes you. Yeah. So, we're going to make the Fever Potion. This one will allow you to jump higher, which is pretty useful. Except, uh, I can't show you because, again, my mushrooms are glitched right now. And they only equip the Glowing Mushroom when I click the regular mushroom. So, you need one Hazel Lily. So, you need one of these. And a mushroom. But I can't show you because my mushrooms are broken, which is really annoying. But, yeah, it just makes you jump higher. Next up, we have a speed potion. For this one, you need two mushrooms. But again, I can't show you because of this stinking game is really awesome sometimes. You know, we need a plain flower. If, do I have one of those? Oh, I do. I have like 45. A, a hazel lily and a blue crystal gets you a speed potion, which is pretty cool. Next, we, we have a lethal potion. This instantly kills whoever you throw it at. So, to make this one, you need 10 dark roots. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Next up, you also need 10 blood roses. I need more blood roses. Hold on. We have made the insta-kill potion. <laughs> we missed, though. That would have insta-killed him, guys. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me, guys. That would have gone... Oh. You missed as well. <laughs> Oh man, we're we're both bad. <laughs> you didn't see that. No, I did not. I did not see anything. Yeah, okay, except we're gonna make a slow potion. Oh man, I need more mushrooms for this one. So you need. Oh man, he confused me. Oh man, dude, that was rude. That was just straight up rude. Like, why why'd you do that, huh? <laughs> but you did see that. <laughs> oh yeah. So you need for this. For the slowness potion, which slows down people, you need two mushrooms, two blue crystals, one jade stone, boom, and one plain flower. Doing that will make you a slowness potion. I can't show you, but yeah. Next up, we have an antitoxin, which is really useful. This one will remove plague and not only does it remove plague but it also resets your toxin meter so you can drink more potions without dying so to make this useful potion we just need one blue crystal one glowing mushroom well, let me see if i can find it where where's my glowing mushroom do i not have any man why do man man i never have glowing mushrooms when i need them two plain flowers and one elder wood. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's every potion in the game. I don't know why the uh, antitoxin one doesn't work. Maybe it's because it's a uh, trying to crap. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's a glitch or if I'm doing something wrong. But that should be the recipe because I've seen people do it before. I think. So, anyways, guys, that's all of the potions. Uh, again, if you if you. All of the potions are in the uh, timestamps in the description below and also the pinned comment. So if you want a specific potion, make sure to check out the timestamp so you can see what it does and whatnot and spiciness. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it, if it helped you out, make sure to leave a like on it. And if you're new here, why not subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos like this one. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!